Welcome back to more live darting action. A battle of two men from Sweden, Lennart Ephraimsson and Dennis Nilsson. And okay, only nine darts have been thrown so far, but look at those averages. Quick, take a screenshot. Pretend it's the best thing you ever did see. Oh, that one ruined it. I can now hear myself talking in the background, so I'm just going to mute the device that I can hear myself on. So uh, I'll be back. Well, if that's a... Okay, I think that was 99. If that was... Oh, no, 139. That second up was also in the treble. There we go. Is Dennis going to hold his throw? Needs a treble here. Can't find a treble here. And the door is a little bit opened for Lennart Ephraimsson. Wonderful visit there, 62 in three darts, gets that double 16, and Nielsen's good at that sort of finish. He gets a little bit of a taste of his own medicine. Both players had a bit of a first leg. I don't know who you're going to be tipping for this title, playing on the PDC European stage. I think it's actually Austrian darts opening Graz this one at the end of April. ET3, I believe, is Riesa in Germany. But I think this one is for Austrian darts opening Graz, which is sort of middle of the end of April. 
But what do I know? I'm just the commentator. This is the remaining quarterfinal, and then we will have our full lineup. And when we thought, by the way, we've got a little bit ahead of ourselves, that Marco Cantelli was going to go on another run, he's actually defeated by Oscar Lukasiak. That was 6-3 in the last 16. Very impressive. Nilsson couldn't bind uh, treble there with his first dart. So wasn't going to be able to finish, but 208. Isn't going to be done. Can make it useful. Has made it useful. 68, a short we have seen Dennis Nielsen take outs in the last game. But we've also seen Dennis Nielsen take out 70 in three darts just like this. It's deja vu. It's deja vu. And I love the little celebration on that. Big two treble twenties there from Lennart Ephraimston. Yeah, so this is the sole game on at the moment. Everything else is pretty quiet just because all the quarterfinals, all the other quarterfinals have been confirmed. Or should I say all the other semi-finalists have been confirmed? Excuse me for misspeaking. Uh, winner of this one will be playing Pavo Myler, who beat Johan Engstrom 6-3. Pavo Myler will play the winner of this one in the semis. And I believe the Pavo Myler and the winner of this will be playing on the streaming board.
the other semi-final, Jeffrey de Graaf and Oscar Lukasiak. Oscar defeating the unstoppable, the seemingly unstoppable Marco Cantilla. And Jeffrey de Graaf making his debut, not today, but yesterday on the PDC Nordic and Baltic Tour, deciding to represent Sweden. I'm hoping that he can make inroads, maybe make an Ali Pali appearance, which he's already done, by the way. But it's another route in to the PDC big time. It's potentially via this one. Treble 20. Lead tops here for Ephraimson. That leaves it reasonably handy. The three darts in hand. You don't expect Dennis Nielsen to miss. In fact, you don't usually expect him to miss when he's got one dart. That's exactly what's happened. He has hit that first dart of asking. And we're all with the throw. 2-1 in this quarter final. I thought that might have been a 177, but it was in the treble one, so 120 there from Lennart, who himself is throwing very nicely indeed. That was an unfortunate finding of the flight and bouncing out, also known as a bounce out. He leaves himself with double top. Does he pin the double top? We know that Nielsen's good at this. Oh, yes, Ephraimson as well. Two all, all on as even, all with throw. And I can't tell you who's going to make it to the semis. But I guess in about 20 or so minutes, we'll soon find out.
But what a great 104 there from Dennis Nielsen finishing on that treble, sorry, on the double 16. He likes a little combo shot, does he not? Most impressive. As he takes the advantage with throw. Go to a last leg decider. This one. Well, he's not relenting, is he, Lennart? Even that slender lead from Dennis. 3-2 looks like it's about to be 3-all. Unless Dennis can find a real big one here, which probably needed two trebles. He gets one of them. Keeps things slightly interesting. This is a must-hit for Lennart. It really is. Don't want to be giving Dennis opportunities for these combination shots. Well, this is good. Double 16 is two at them. And he gets it. Possibly only halfway through this match. Three apiece. Winner progresses to the semis. One step closer to the PDC stage.
Right, this would be a rather special shot. And he has to go for it. He does have to go for it with Dennis on 62. Oh, yes, he's got space here. Oh. <laughs> you just have to look around to double check, is that actually in or not? You might have thought for a millisecond it might have been in. It's not far away. It was a well-thrown dart. Well, goes for the bullseye anyway, because why not? Might not get another sniff, especially now. Double 16, Dennis. And he can't seem to find it. And then I was nodding his head there as if to say, come on, let's do this. Well, that was, that wasn't a million miles from busting. I mean, he wasn't threatening the treble, don't get me wrong, but it was much nearer the treble than the double there. He was going double top. Well, that was a bit of a scrappy visit, must say. The first start, fine, but that second start must have thrown him right off guards. And another hold of throw, Dennis Nielsen. Well, is this the leg where Dennis Nielsen piles on the pressure? Is this the leg where Dennis Nielsen breaks the throw? One of the semi-finals, well, so when I say one of, the only currently existing semi-final is taking place. Oscar Lukasiak has played very well all day. He is 2-1 up against Jeffrey de Graaf. And eventually, ultimately, That one will play the winner of whoever wins this or Pavo Myla. Yeah, it's a bit confusing at the moment. It'll be a bit more obvious when this uh, quarterfinal has settled. But it's the winner of this takes on Pavo Myla of Finland in the quarterfinals. I mean, the semi final, sorry. So, all to play for.
There's Misty double eight there, Dennis Nielsen. That could have been a pivotal moment, but so could this. You've got to start on 19s. Then it's choices. It could be trouble 16, it could be trouble 20, it could be tops, tops. It's 80 left, and he has to get it. Absolutely has to. Oh, oh, that was miles high. I really think treble 20. I mean, I know it's very easy for me to say. Treble 20 might have been a better option. I don't mind treble 16 after a 19, because you're not moving that far. But either way, you make a decision and you go for it. Kim Hybrex, he won the PDC event today. The other PDC event. This is a PDC event. Um, he was playing go in price and hit 99, 19 tops, tops. So it does work and it can work. And it might be all right. Double 10. Oh, and he's inside. Well, he's had an opportunity. Dennis, I wouldn't say nicks the leg because he was the deserving winner, in my opinion, of that leg. Certainly not over yet, but Lennart is going to need to break. And then break again. Dennis Nilsson, not looking to waste any time. Lovely Tan Porsi. Lennart gets another one of these. We're all on his even. Doesn't get another one of those. In fact, goes into the one. Wasn't what he was after. And what started out to be a pretty even game. Hold, 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 hold. And I was saying the last leg of the spider was being threatened. Back to back Tan Porsis for Dennis Nilsson. Mean that this man, Lennart Ephraimson, might be on his way out. Ton 80 would be good. It wouldn't put him on a finish, but it would be very good. But you do kind of feel 140 might not quite be enough. It would be enough if he can get another big one, like a 180 or a 140. Then it's just, well, two of his three darts there were wayward. Is still on a two data. And he's not on a finish. So it's going to be six darts here for Dennis to book his place in the semi finals. Well, went treble 15, double 18. He's got himself a single two, 79. So it's probably going to be 19. Okay, third. I don't mind that. I'll tell you in a second. Double top. When your opponent's not on a finish, why not go treble 30? I mean, you go for treble 19 because it's something you're used to, you hit it all the time, but I don't mind that. I don't mean, the maths works out. I've not really got a major issue with that. Especially if your opponent isn't on a finish, because if he goes treble 19, double 11, goes inside the double 11, or even outside, then it's just got that awkward 22 to play with, or 11 to play with. Now, he's gonna have three at 40. He's gonna have two at 10s. Well, that's nowhere near. That's not a guide. Oh, and he didn't need a guide. He gets the double 10. He's just looking to make sure he's that definitely in. And Lennart, I think he is a little disappointed there. Both played similarly, but it was Dennis in the end who capitalized on all of his available opportunities and is in the semi finals. A fantastic match up there. I enjoyed that one. I hope you did as well. So then, the next task. Is Parvo Milo. Parvo Milo.
the small matter of that to contend with. That's going to be broadcast right here on the streaming board with live darts license very, very soon. I think Dennis needs to catch his breath back first. 